Yes, in this video, I'll be explaining a new feature introduced by Microsoft in SQL Server 2012 and which is the sequence. And actually, to access this object, I have my uh, management studio for SQL Server 2012. I expand the database uh, folder in my training DB. Uh, at the end, no, it's not at the end, it's at program, programmability. Here I have so stored procedures, functions, database triggers, assemblies, types, rules, default or defaults, and sequences. This through the design mode, so I can create it even on or in design mode or by. Uh, by writing down TSQL code will be showing or I'll be showing those two methods of uh, inter of uh, writing a sequence so for this object I right click on it I have here new sequence so this is the screen that appears to define my sequence here I have to give the sequence name, sequence schema, and the data type of the sequence, the precision, uh, start value, increment by, and the ca catchy option. Here, for example, here for the sequence name, I'm gonna uh, name it sequence or seek main. This is my sequence name. Sequence scheme, I leave it DBO, which is the database object standard uh, schema. The data type, I leave it uh, big int. Start value here, I provide one. I'm going to increment this sequence by one. Here in minimum value, maximum value, and cycle, I don't provide anything. But, uh, for example, if I need the, my sequence to have a, a maximum value of 1000, for example, I'm going to put the maximum value. That means this sequence will be incremented one by one till uh, hitting or at, uh, till, yeah, uh, uh, till having the value of the, this maximum value, which is 1000. After that, if I check this one cycle, that means after 1000, it has to be, or it's going to be, the, the next value after 1000 is going to be number one. But for now, I don't provide any maximum value and any cycle. Here, the default size, I leave it, or the catch, the catch I leave it uh, by default. This is the default size. And after that, we can give permissions to this uh, sequence so this is like for intermediate and advanced level of uh, this course SQL Server 2012 and I, we can give for this sequence actually some extended properties and this also will be shown in the intermediate to uh, the advanced level of uh, this course which is uh, SQL Server 2012 so now I define my my sequence here I hit OK so see here the sequence is defined uh, now what I can do here I can query this sequence so we said that uh, our sequence uh, started or starts with number one. So to query a sequence, the 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 query or the the SQL query should like should look like this. Select next value for DBO, which is the 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 schema name. And the, here I have the sequence name sec main. And as this is the shown value, so here. I select this, I execute it, and you see here the sequence value is 1. If I execute it another time, it's going to be 2, and after that 3, and so forth. So, and it's quite 
it's a quite nice feature and uh, you know uh, it could be used for example here I wrote or I prepared like uh, a small anonymous block and this block in this block so it begins with the begin statement and ends with the end statement I declare a, a variable here which is my next value and its data type is big int I uh, give this uh, this variable my next value so from this sequence and for here for example this is a select case and uh, this is a standard select case when my variable is less than 10 I'll show like it's like a card number here you see here I show 287 25000 and I convert the value of, of my next value which is here I convert it to varchar to let the concatenation you know uh, go goes through if it's uh, not uh, less than 10 if it's uh, greater than 10 and less than 100 I do another conversion if it's less than 1000 I do a third conversion so here I select all these I execute and you see here the result see it's 2872500004 see here 0056789 10 see here so this could be very helpful you know see 12 13 14 15 and 16 if I want to generate like a card number this looks like for example a social insurance number so the government of Canada for example can uh, you know produce numbers like this new numbers through this sequence and it's it's really very helpful and it's gonna be for 1000 numbers so till we arrive to uh, 287 250 so 999 uh, and uh, that's quite interesting and uh, about another thing yeah it's to how to define the my sequence through my, the TSQL language uh, transact SQL so here I define like this one I, I write down use training DB which is my database because every sequence is linked to a database this is my training DB and here create sequence this is the syntax dbo sequence uh, I, I could name it sequence uh, second for example I'm going to name it like this sequence second as big int I can, this is the data type I can choose as an int if it's not a very uh, big number when I, incre I increase it by one by one and here it starts with one and it increments for example I can make increments by five I give the mean value so these are the mean values for big int so I, I should leave here big int this is the mean value this is the max value and I use the ca catching so for the catch we're gonna see this uh, this principle or this feature in next lessons actually the mean value I'm gonna put zero here so the max value this is the, the big int max value and I write down go to let the engine the, uh, the, the database engine execute this uh, TSQL statement so I select all these I hit execute see the, the the statement was completed successfully so I go back here so I have my sequences I refresh see there we go we have sequence second and if I go back here 
and I select from sequence second as a sequence value 2 for example here I execute it see I have 1 I executed another time 6 because I specify that, that the increment is by 5 see 11 16 21 26 and uh, so on and so forth so uh, that was about our today's lesson have a good day and thank you